cut me out of their lives. How about you guys? I, and I, I said, that's no Satan, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, guys. Um, <laughs> um, welcome to the uh, We Hate Scientology Club. And uh, I, <laughs> I'm your host, Alpha Basher DX. And... <laughs> And and with me are my associates, which sharper than sword. Yeah. And I've gotten an upgrade. Swords are sharper than fangs. Yes. And um what what would what would they what would they even call you? Barrett Lord of the Damned, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Fair well enough. Played. Well, I mean, it's not great. We've already discussed that. I'm I'm I can do better, but maybe not right now. Uh, let's let's check out some arguably um, pagan societies here. <laughs> I mean, inarguably, we, oh, all of these hold are up. So loud. Yes. Volume at five percent. Better. Oh, uh, I do not have a screen share. Oh, that's that's right. Uh. Here you go. Hey. What piece of music is this? Uh, everything in this is classical. Most of them I don't know by who, but classical. I've definitely played this excerpt before in an exercise book. Centuries ago, a band of pirates hid important treasures of the ancient world in caverns beneath the desert. Make your way through an intricate maze rigged with booby traps, moving platforms, and deep chasms. I'm sure looking this up would reveal what this thing is. Use sharp thinking and special tools to overcome obstacles in the caverns and find ancient artifacts. Alien artifacts? Mayhaps? Hmm. <laughs> Solve this sounds like Spelunky before Spelunky. <laughs> Solve puzzles and logic problems. Then you'll well, be ready for the ultimate challenge of the ancient empires. Well, now it's not quite Spelunky anymore. Nope. Ancient Empires DOS. Who are these people? Uh, these are just names that were on the version I found. Uh, oh, they're weird. Music, 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 music. Purge them. <laughs> Yikes. You really are the Lord of the Damned. Okay, that's why. Tchaikovsky's Slavonic March. Yeah, I've definitely played that excerpt. Yep. Unfortunately, it looks like it only brings up one, one theme from each of these worlds, and there are two different themes from each of them. I guess we'll see which ones we musician people can actually identify. All right. Anyway. Uh, there are different layouts, again, and different artifacts to go with each so we'll start on explorer and go from there pick a region uh also, egypt was always the one that i did first yeah wow lumping in india and china that is um bold and lumping in the whole near east and greece and this is terrible <laughs> welcome to our childhood it is wildly oversimplified to a possibly anthropologically dangerous degree. Yes. Also, for anybody interested, this is Sadie's Nocien number one. Or an excerpt thereof. I don't know this one. What's the composer? Uh, Sadie. I forget the first name. I believe it's France Sade. Or Sate or something. S-A-T-I-E. However you'd pronounce that. Sati. Sati. Eric Sati. Eric Sati. Uh, yeah. All these years Most I've been pronouncing it Sadie. Known for, uh, for Smooth Operator. Um, uh, no. Eric, Eric Satie. <laughs> now I don't know who you're thinking of. Are we on board uh, with Egypt? I was Egypt? making a joke about Sade, the, like, the smooth jazz uh, singer, songwriter. Didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah, her music's pretty good. You should listen to Smooth Operator. It will make you feel like you should be having more sex than you're having because that's what smooth jazz does that is not what smooth jazz does smooth jazz makes you fall asleep in elevators 
<laughs> Are we on board with Egypt? Move Jazz is the enemy of jazz musicians everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, let's go to whatever. Okay, Egypt. This is not my game. Neptune was more mine. Well, apparently barely. I don't know how I stumbled through all of these. Because mm. I definitely couldn't do that meth then if I can't do it now. Did I don't you, know about that. Did you I was say definitely meth or, better Did you math. say meth or method or math or what did you say? Uh, whichever one of those excites you the most about mm. my mysterious past. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so head switches, foot switches, light switches, yada, yada, yada. Okay. And spiders. And spiders. <laughs> These are trained pirate spiders, by the way, because these um, this spiders so have been here for hundreds of years. Oh my goodness, this is lagging quite a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's the think guy. I guess I didn't know this was um, a TLC game. Oh, yeah. You cannot uh, interact with him because it is one block too short. Yep. Believe me, I have tried. Oh, <laughs> I don't intend to go after him. I just want to get out of this. Got to do a low jump here. You go high, you're only going to run into... Well, I did anyway. Whoops. Lame. Oh, wow. Near Automata is half off right now. Ooh, well, good game. Okay, this ought to be interesting. Whoop. Ugh. <gasps> it's Mountain Blade Oh. Mountain Blade 2 is not out yet. Trust me, I will oh. I will share in that orgasm. Well, okay, so there's um a reviewer named Commander Shepard, and <laughs> every game he reviews on his curator list I'm is Commander I'm Shepherd. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite game on Steam, and they're all the same. Um, Commander Shepard. That's really fucking original. <laughs> so when we collect all six of these diamond pieces, as you saw me doing, you get a picture like this, in a description. Man, I was so retarded as a kid because I always had a lot of trouble with these. Hey, but like, hey, don't use that word. I was um, unsure of yourself. No, I'm trying to think of something that's equally offensive but still works. <laughs> oh Jesus, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> um, disabled. Nah, that's like too polite. Um, well, uh, a mor an idiot, a moron, and an imbecile are all just, uh, specific types of mentally retarded, so I could go with any of those. And they all walked into the bar, which happened to be your brain? Um, anyway, because <laughs> this has, like, a yellow border around it. Yes. So, like, there are only... Twelve. What? There are 12 um, pieces. Yeah, and each of them have a border except... Yes, the two in the middle. So this... So this is quite obviously difficult. the answer. Yep, obviously. Good job. We're done here, Reddit. We can go home. <laughs> anyway, each of these artifacts, after put together, has a story to go with them. If anybody with an eloquent voice would like to read this... The Great Sphinx and the Pyramid of King Khafre were built in Egypt around 2500 BC. <laughs> well, you could do it then, Jacques. No, thank you. I would like us to get through this. It took workmen over 20 years to shape 
two million three hundred thousand stone blocks for building the Great Pyramid of Cheops. <laughs> I believe that is traditionally pronounced Cheops. Do you really want him to keep talking in that voice? Do I have a choice? Yes. And a door will appear somewhere. Go through it and you're faced with one of these puzzles. Basically, fill, using the patterns you see here, fill in the empty space. Tic tac toe! More or less. At least this one. So basically, look at the row and column that the missing square is in and determine for yourself what it is. So what is it? Bottom. We concur on bottom? I'm not much of a bottom myself, but uh, I'll make an exception in this case. I'll touch the bottom. Four chambers per cavern. Hmm. Don't you try it. Blah. Spinning Clearly, up it's ingested some uh, substance X or whatever it was called. I thought it was spitting up snowflakes. How are we back in this room? Uh, tear in the space time continuum. I guess so. Oh. That apple refills your health entirely, but I don't really need it. Nor is it particularly a good idea to go after. Because that bat will just come after you. Okay, better safe than sorry. Shield up. Oh. And you a shield from? You see what I you saw what I did too. I ran into the fucking spider before I invoked it. Therefore nullifying pretty much the entire reason for my life. Oh hell yeah, Hatsune Miku VR. What? You heard the me? The fuck are we talking about? Hatsune Miku. The world's most popular vocaloid. Oh, the one with the really huge um pigtails. Yes. I'm going to do something cheap and dirty here. I should be using those reflective triangles, but instead I'm going to do this. Gasp, the absolute madman. What a legend. Why, thank you. Oh, no. And now we will be checking out some foreign language technology. Uh, for a piece of software, it looks kind of stony. Would you like a turn, Wit? Oh, whoops. Uh, what? The Rosetta Stone, around 196 BC, was found in Egypt by one of Napoleon's officers in 1799 AD. The Greek writing helped an archaeologist decipher hieroglyphics and demotic text in 1822 AD. Good job. Sorry, some of the um, Steam over, uh, excuse me, Skype overlay had been blocking mm. um, the words. You hear me, Discord? Get it together. Once but... again, I'm going to suggest that you bottom, but only because oh. I'm very selfish. Yeah, I think I should bottom out. You get two tries at this before you're sent back to the beginning of the chamber you're on. The first time you get all your energy back, if you've lost any. The second time, you oh. are stuck with whatever energy you've got. If you get it wrong once. Uh, you know what, that was probably really stupid. Because... Well, first of all, I don't want to change that. And now I have to sit here and wait for that to auto-rotate to the direction I need it to, which is right there. 
I'm just glad it stops when there's a beam in the air. Hum. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, shouldn't have jumped. Oh wow, Borderlands is on sale for under ten dollars. Which one? One. OG. Oh, that was pretty good. Was Claptrap in uh, one, or does yep. he? He is. Yep. He's not a playable character in one, though. He's a player cap playable character in the pre sequel. Mm. Boy, does he have a mouth on him? I mean, not really. Well, figuratively speaking. Huh. I mean, if you've ever played Poker Night 2, he's got a profanity streak. Mm. Uh, I really enjoyed Poker Night. Ah, Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition is also on sale for under $10. Yeah, I my can play that, that game with you. Yeah, my 50th, um, my 50th stream was actually Poker Night 1 and 2. I believe I called it Celebratory Gambling. One of the things that that, that game did that I enjoyed was... Um, earning achievements in game yes. would cause you to unlock stuff in other games. Wait, really? Yep. Oh, I might not know that because I don't have the, um, I don't have any of the games that anybody would, would have been in. <laughs> that was also dirty. But I just did. That was legit. That was legit. We. Huh. Okay, so I gotta open both of those. Everything alright, Jacque? That was a hmm of contemplation. What are you contemplating? Not a bad one. Me. Oh. oh, that bug is way faster than you. That's all right. That bat is too. I can't stun the bat either. If I try. But does the bat bat have your pimp strut? The answer is no. True. Uh, hmm. Are we objecting to the term pimp? Um, I probably should be, but I'm not. Um, I was thinking about how bats may walk. I imagine it's somewhat poorly. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. I imagine they can locomote on flat surfaces, uh, but I bet they prefer not to. Ooh. I've seen bats walking around. I don't think it's, like, uncomfortable. Um, I don't believe I've ever seen a bat walk. Oh, yeah, they do it pretty frequently. I don't know. I, I don't see bats really land upright. They usually cling to a cave wall and or a leaf or something and hang or a gonna, branch. I'm not going to be uh, able to do it Fruit that bats way. will certainly. I did see that... A uh, picture of a bat swimming. That I've never seen before. Uh, it was uh, one of the larger ones. Probably not quite a flying fox, but getting there. And um, it basically breaststrokes through the water. And um, oh, the, the footage showed just up. how like super built their shoulders are. And they have to be because they're a flying animal. But you get to see it in a bat the way you don't with a bird. Mm-hmm. Because there's no feathers. Yeah. I've, I've and then I of... guess this wasn't one of the fluffier ones. What is that? The green thing? I just um, tuned back in to see that thing. So the pirates that stole all these treasures were space pirates. I see. That actually makes this make a lot more sense. What is it that you're shooting? Spears? Light. Light beams. All right. I see. Wait for it. Wait for it. And how are you producing that? From your hat. 
The half uh, like battery. Like a headlamp? Pretty much. I the mean, half yeah. battery powered. Um, and oh. then whenever you shoot this beam of like condensed light at an enemy, they will pause to consider how the fuck you're doing that. And, I was gonna uh, say. <laughs> that is really what the basis of this done is. It's a canoptic jar! Oh wait, no, it's at least two canoptic jars. Oh hey look, it says canoptic jar right there. Okay, it's three canoptic jars. Canopic. Canoptic. Hmm. Probably. Which voice should I use? This game doesn't, Canopic. doesn't Canopic. believe in the final Canopic? T. Should I use Duke Canopic? Nukem? Should I Is use it Red White? Should God I damn use it. Olimar? If you live in the future, you should Google it. Andrew, what are you saying? No, I'm trying to decide which voice I should use. Oh, you're going to do a read? I could use Duke Nukem. Oh. I could use Olimar. I could use Red White. Well, Olimar is non-canonical. Duke Nukem is pretty canonical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no T. Red White is non-canonical. Red White I picked up from a... <clears throat> from a parody I watched of Phoenix Wright once. Actually, you know what? Now, Red White sounds entirely too much right. like the voice Ferret used. That's um, a relatively obscure character from that game, if I remember correctly. He was in the second case of the first game. Basically, he was responsible for killing Wright's mentor and almost framing both Wright and his mentor's sister, who eventually became his assistant. Yeah, I played that. I just didn't um, remember that level of detail. Yeah, basically, um, uh, basically he wears pink. He has a lot of bling, and uh, he kind of talks like this. In that parody, because yeah. in the DS game, they were not voice acted. No, they weren't. Objection! Ex yeah, Objection and Hold It were voice acted, but that was it. Yep. Anyway. You know what? I haven't done Olimar in a while. <clears throat> not canonical. So? Um. Does Olimar actually have a voice? No, I, I'm i not sure Olimar ever actually speaks. Yeah, I don't think he does. Wait, no, I'm sorry. In the third one, he leaves a log, and that may have the little garbly noises. Mm. Um, but at least he's canonically making, um, like, actually expressing himself in right. a way that I don't believe he did in the first two games. Mm. Uh, I don't remember what these little garbles sounded like, but they do not sound like English. Or anything so, remotely like what I did for Pikmin. Right. So the voice you're actually about to do is um, as close as you can get to um, voice cracking prepubescent male. Yeah. What I what I suspect that he would have sounded like. <clears throat> Canopic jars around 1316 BC. Canopic jars were used to preserve bodily organs of mummies. Egyptians believed that the spirit would reunite with its preserved body in the afterworld. Yeah. You, you sound like the new employee in some The Simpsons episodes that have a new employee. That's kind of what I based him on. Wow, peek behind the curtain. Okay, what do we got here? There's actually a pattern this time. Anybody see it? Uh. I think it has to be down. Circle down. So which so the middle door you're saying? Yes. Do we have concurrence, Ferret? Uh, I do not have eyes on the target. <laughs> well, it is a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation from square to square. Cardinally speaking, of course. That being said, the middle door with the circle down is correct. Alright, one more for this chamber. Eh. Let's go this way first. Switching tools in midair. Don't try that at home. 
Yeah, I guess I can't re recommend that anyone at home spend a ton of time in midair, unaided by, um, I guess airplanes or other flying devices. I would love to if I have the ability to do so, like under my own power. I don't know. I'm sure there are like some sort of monkey's paw style consequences. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't give two dams about them. Uh, well, if you remember in the monkey's paw, like, everyone they loved died or whatever. Oh, no, they killed their son. That's right. Out of um, the ability to fly? No, um, just, like, from wishing for something and realizing that there were horrible loopholes. Mm. What did they wish for, like, a million dollars and they their had... Their son wished for, like... A lot of money or at least enough to get them out of some maybe some financial crisis or whatever and he's killed and the, the um, insurance money or like insurance from his company or whatever um, is that amount of money and then um, the mother is so distraught uh, at losing her son she wishes for him to to come back and um, that night there's like this horrible eerie like groaning and scraping sound at the door um and the mother's like it's him he's back quick open the door and the father like realizes if um the monkey's paw had such a terrible loophole the first time that their son is probably back as like an awful decomposed monster or whatever um, so his final wish um, he makes silently to himself is that his son would be dead and buried again and the horrible groaning noise stops and the mother throws wide the door and there's no one there mm. and that's the end of the story that's kind of depressing yeah that is the point of the story it is um, the most in your face to be careful what you wish for parable there ever was yep Oh, damn it. Whatever. There's an apple right here. That'll fix it. Food heals all wounds, am I right? You um, are maybe. right. If playing Doom and Duke Nukem has taught me everything, it's in case of emergency, go eat some dog food to recover from your bullet wounds. Yeah, Wolfenstein well, does do that use, too. Well, they do use tilapia skin in treating burns, so we're not a million miles away from that. <laughs> I mean, we may be like <laughs> one piece of tilapia for you, day. one piece of tilapia for me. <laughs> and one to go. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Whoa! What spider can do that? Um. Probably jumping spiders, I'm guessing, because I'm guessing it did something unusual, and that was that it jumped. What did it, it do? Is, it scoot, it goes oh. down its web, it retracts, and then it scoots across the ceiling. Um, web in tow, yeah. Yeah, it's the fact that you it still is doing web stuff. Um, but all spiders can walk on ceilings, uh, unless they're too heavy to grip. But, like, when you say what spider can do that, the answer is pretty much all of them. Oh, damn it. Uh, excuse you, back off. <laughs> I don't need your little bug here. Now may I put this puzzle together in peace, please? In peace! Sarcophagus! Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a weird... Thing to call those. I guess maybe they thought we couldn't read that big of a word? I mean, I can't. I am pretty sure that's not true. <laughs> God damn it, uh, whose turn I have is a it? bad rap song stuck in my head. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you care uh, to it's get... It's Richard's turn, Would but you... it looks like he is busy. No, I'm I'm here. Why don't you why don't you wrap it right. now that you make mention of that? Because I'm white and I have no flow. So? No one would enjoy it is what he's trying to say. I recently watched a um congressperson 
rap video about how bills get made, and it made me ashamed for my people. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a bill. It's getting to the point where hip hop is so dominated by um, black people, especially whether um, you know from whose ancestry is African, or especially the um, black people from the Caribbean are so good at rapping and have been so dominant for so long that I almost feel like attempting it is nearing cultural appropriation. Hmm. They're so good at it, and we're so bad at it. I have lots of opinions on this that I would like to discuss at some time, but instead I'm just going to inform you all that Egyptian mummy coffins called SARCOPHAGI! Yeah, seriously. Um, uh, dating from 1350 BC, held the bodies of embalmed and mummified people, or animals. True. King Tutankhamun's body was placed in three nested coffins? Oh, I didn't know that. That's unnecessary. He's that were decorated so with gold and writing. <laughs> Yo, dog, we heard you like sarcophagi. <laughs> Yo, dog, we heard you were dead. <laughs> Yo, dog, you didn't live a very long life. Uh... Hey, that wasn't there before. What do we got here? Uh, Alright, so the first one is going counter... The outer one is going counterclockwise, and the inner one is going clockwise. Right. So the inner one going clockwise would be uh, raise your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> and the outer one going counterclockwise would be uh, making a C. We in agreement here? For YMCA. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that's... that's a good thing this goes um, left to right, huh? Mm, more or less. The pattern would be intact if it went the other way, I believe. Mm, I suppose you're right. I don't know. Uh, Rissa speaks anime. You should have her look at it. No, not anime. Uh, not hentai. There's another one. Manga. It will come to me. Manga? Manga? Yes, thank you. All right. Do we press on or hold here? Um, it is bedtime at least for me. Richard has a different schedule than I do. He may be up for more. Um, I have recently entered into a sadomasochistic relationship with the gymnasium. So Sorry I need to that. be up at four in the morning. Oh dear. Wow, that's fucked right up yes so uh i guess that means we're finished uh we have three more chambers to go here plus this is really like nice and bite-sized though yeah this can be done and this can be done in little chunks like we can continue on in between like in between caverns so there's yeah, but, these like, now i'm worried about richard <laughs> So there's these three, plus the fifth one beyond these, and then five more on the expert level. So that's about where we're at. Also, I, if I really want to work out so bad, I have a treadmill. I mean, this like this is the only time when I guess like I can hear that someone is working out and be really concerned for them. <laughs> like, um, making a terrible mistake. <laughs> I spent about five seconds on Tinder before I realized that I was greatly outclassed by the competition. That's your drive that to I work out? To, to hit the, the gymnasium. Because if I'm going to compete in the meat market, I need to work on my meat. <laughs> um, I guess. I, I would That's what Tinder is. I would reevaluate yeah, how you worded that. <laughs> does make it sound like you are mainly addressing the state of your penis, but I happen uh, to know that you're pretty okay with your penis. I am pretty okay with my penis. But 
Not, not for lack of society trying to make me not okay with my PNS. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure there's... It, I mean, every porn site you go to tells you that yours is too small. Well, Jackie, would you agree? Weird. Is is your penis too small? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's I that's think the only way to react. Is a little too small for me personally, um, but it's good for warming up if there if you've had a very long break. Mm -hmm. Well, the only way to follow up that question is to laugh at the person you're asking. That's the only way to follow that up. Yeah, I, it's a trap of a of a question. Yeah. There's yeah, there's it's a dangerous one to really get into. Say yes and you'll get laughed at out of pity. Say no and you'll get laughed at because they think you're lying and they'll pity you anyway. Yeah. Say anything Which else. is why you need a complex answer like oh, for years I was worried I had a penis that was too small and then I got a lot of concurrent reviews that it was larger than average, but I didn't believe it for the longest time because society has turned me into a damaged man. Or just drop your pants and say, you be the judge. No. How to be on the sex offender registry from the rest of your life in one easy step. <laughs> I never said I'd actually do that. I'm just saying that would be how to how to handle that question. I would not throw that out as a valid way to handle that question. If anybody I mean, your audience I'm... is made up of relatively intelligent people, few of which possess a penis. If anybody um, thinks I'm serious, shame on you. That's true. Your audience also knows that you are not to be trusted with life advice. No. In this uh, context, in this uh, situation. Hey, if you're on Tinder, swipe right on everything you see. I suspect that that might be the winning strategy, and I'm suspicious of them if they have not put in some kind of algorithm that, like, not necessarily, like, punishes that strategy, but, like, defeats that strategy. I don't know. Somebody's just, well, okay, somebody so could just be thing. that desperate. All guys know. swipe right on everything. All girls are the ones who are forced to swipe left. Uh, no, I could never do that. I could never not have any standards whatsoever. <laughs> but then again, I am on Tinder, so... Yeah, I was going to say, what standards? Well, at this point, I think you would be healthiest just looking for a quick rebound of something to get into to just, you know, to give yourself something to do. But I don't see anything that you find right now being, like, the girl that you're going to marry or anything. Are you talking to me or a ferret? Um, maybe both, actually. I mean, he's already he's already found his woman in the gymnasium. Oh, jeez. Please don't turn into that man. Me, I've been dating, well, pretty much DOS dating, games. pretty much dating Twitch in my DOS games, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've done a hundred episodes in like five months, so. That's true. Have you guys considered finding like a woman? Because I'm like, one of those, and it's going, like, pretty like, well. Like, collectively, the two of us should find a woman? Are you suggesting no. something here? Uh, <laughs> I'm suggesting don't give up on a physical, or not physical, I guess I can't force you into sexuality, but no, on a human-to-human -human relationship. Well, I mean... Don't give up, lads. I mean, I, I attempted it recently. And, well, my Discord server knows how that went, so I'm That's not going to uh, address it here. That one was a bit shocking. But I will say this. This needs to be somebody who basically, first of all, I can spend a lot of time with without going out of my own way. And that would really kind of be limited to, really be limited to my church. Mm. Because... I devote such a large portion of my life to that, that... Yeah, it's your main community. Exactly. So that's that's where it would have to be. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the kind of time that I would want out of the relationship. And therefore, it really can't work. I wouldn't make that such a hard limit. I mean, we are different people. So 
take my advice with I... the seasoning of your choosing, but people can be transformative. And people can also introduce you to other people who are transformative. So finding a new person can sometimes, well, I mean, I would say would always transform the person that you are and the routines that you carry with you. I mean, I would, I would need to get to a point where I'm okay with not being able to spend much time with, with this woman. And it would take somebody pretty drastically amazing at least in my eyes to accomplish that mm. because i am i am really about like being able to spend time not all the time of course i mean we both lead busy ish adult lives but it's like like if our schedules and where we usually hang out are so drastically different that we'll never be inclined to spend that time together what's it worth well, at that at that very least, you have to find a woman who would be willing to um, maybe spend some or the same amount of time as you at your church, and maybe she's someone who would be willing to, you know, switch churches. Possibly. I mean, it's a it's a thought. You can tell I don't spend a great deal of time on this subject. No, and it's it's. They, all, they always say that it happens to you when you're not looking. Is that what happened to you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Hmm. I was looking for a hookup to prove to myself that I was a goddamn adult and I could have casual sex and not, like, get all Twitter-pated. And what you ended and, up um, with was... I was super, super, super Twitter-pated and we started dating because I developed feelings and it will be two years in a month or so hurrah hurrah yeah that's not the kind of story you tell at a wedding though no. we will have to come up with a cover story to tell in front of our parents you yes. met in prison <laughs> it was basically caged heat was a documentary about how you met yeah oh, i was gonna say orange is the new black hmm because Caged Heat does sound like a Skinamax title. Caged Heat was Caged Heat is famous for being a pornographic movie that people bought because it was pornography, and then they watched it for the plot. Yeah, Skinamax. Well, no, Skinamax are movies that have plot, but people watch them for the pornography. <laughs> By the way, what what date is your anniversary? Oh, it's April the third, I think. Okay, so let me see. So the next Thursday after, well, no, we would need both of you here. So let's see. Well, what I'm thinking is that Dr. Ruth game I mentioned, maybe the two-year anniversary is the perfect time for that. That would be Tuesday the 3rd. It's not going to happen. We... It won't happen that evening. Well, actually, well, she's working that night, probably. Yeah. So. Uh, we may or may not be taking a little staycation around that time. Oh, well, um, listen. We haven't really scheduled, we haven't officially scheduled it yet. Okay. Um, but I will let you know. Yeah, if uh, if not that night, definitely sometime, sometime around it. That would be Because I think that would be a fantastic... Uh, sort of present yeah are you familiar at all with this game ferret uh which one it is called dr ruth's computer game of good sex uh i as soon as you said dr ruth i knew where this was going yeah <laughs> i am not and i am very interested um... due to my field of expertise and my choice of careers so basically this is fashion oh, this is kind of fashioned like a text-based trivia game but based entirely on sex and pretty much the subjective opinions of dr ruth i don't dr ruth was like way before my time so i literally have no idea what her opinions on sex were I've gone I think we're going to find out. I've gone through this game a couple times for just for testing purposes, and I'm not sure I understand her either. 
So honestly, this is going to be th this isn't going to be whether anybody's good at this. This is going to be purely satire, entertainment and opinions galore. I'm OK with this. So whatever night we do this, I'll be sure to I'll be sure to inform you. Cool. Holy shit. Are we still on the air? Nice. <laughs> that way. Okay. Um, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, these two lovely games, these two lovely guests, and these these uh, lovely talk show segments that we've... I totally forgot we were airing. Well, there there you go. Something to look forward to in about a month or so. You're going to you're going to have uh you're going to have some sex uh education of sorts. Anyway. Oh anyway, catch y'all later for Wit and Ferret. This is Alpha Star DX and uh, I'm going to go fuck myself now. Good night. Bye. Bye.